We play against Odin, a very interesting leader, and he is green, so we want to go second here. Um, not the best hand, and to really slow, we mulligan for more searchers, and we have Izo and a lot of fire fist. Might be interesting, but against green, I think it's actually still useful. Okay, first on Momo and pass draw a card we play easel and we search for some white beard pirates and we need some big bodies in the in the mid game so we pick marco here we have enough events in hand and odin's ability is really interesting you may trash one one or country uh, type card from your hand set up two of your domes cards as active very nice combo together with uh, Danjiro I believe Danjiro? I think yeah that he can restand dons as well okay they clear Izo like any green deck they try to control the board and they kind of starve us because of that and they draw okiku from momonosuke search draw let's see what we can do here we can play Blumenko. we can kill momo we can fire fist here attack but then we cannot play anything or we can play vanilla zoro do we want to swing with zoro though and give them free attack rather not okay we clear momo for sure because momo is just um card advantage for them and then we play zoro and we pass we don't have any other play here and they have five tons and it might be Danjiro. And Danjiro is a problem. But then maybe we can clear him with Fire Fist actually. We will see. But they also might want to tap our Zoro and attack into him. So let's see what they decide here with five tons. Yeah, Danjiro. If your leader is Odin, set up two of your Dawn cards as active when attacking. <clears throat> Let's see. 5k into leader with uh, Nakomamushi. Mm. I think we take this one for sure. Oof, that's interesting. Do we want to trigger here? Fortunately, Danjiro is 7k, so it's kind of hard. We can set up Fire Fist next turn. So, yeah, let's just trigger for free. So, one less mm, character. And then another 5k. And we take it. And yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, Atama Fire Fist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do we play here? Do we waste Fire Fist only on the Jiro? Rather not. Mm, do we want to go big attacks? But I really want to play the Marco down. Or maybe even Blamenko. But then we are left with four downs, which is a little bit awkward. Perfect for Otama. If not the, the Jet Pistol trigger, then Otama Fire Fist. Hmm, it's tough turn. Then maybe we just 6k. Yep, another 6. Yep, and then we just play big body and, and pass the turn. And let's see. 
How they attack now? Seven don'ts. A lot of cards in hand. Dendro is threatening. Let's see. Normally, much better would be to play Blamenko with some cheap buddies to set up the double kill for sure next turn because I don't know what they are gonna do here oh so we have Okiku we have Kinemon and play okay and he can restand Okiku basically now we have 8k swing into Zoro that we must take They set up to don't active. Then seven K into leader. Uh, we can clear Kinamon and Okiku in our turn, that's for sure. But we must take this damage unfortunately. Unless we want to clear only Okiku with developing Marco. But it's not really efficient for the next turn. So we take the hit here. They might want to use the, the ability to set up tones, but they don't. Okay. So we draw. Some nice defensive event. That's good. So we need. Otama, Fire Fist, four dons, four dons left. Two dons for Blamenko, two dons left. One don, okay. So now. We go 6k leader, that's for sure. They use 2k, nice, okay. 7k leader. They take, okay. And now, reduce Kinemon, Fire Fist, sacrifice Fire Fist, kill both. Play Blamenko for the future, for the next turn, and keep one for uh, guard point. Because we need to guard at least one attack here. And we pass. So next turn, we can either push life, or set up some removal on board either with fire fist in combination with Blamenko if they don't clear him or with combination with Marco Marco plus uh, Blamenko so let's see and they play 8 cost Odin okay Setting up a little next turn, that's for sure. 8k swing. So now we have 8k swing. Can we do anything with our fire fist here? Um, I think not really. Use quartz point here. They keep to open. Do they want to play anything or are they gonna pass the turn with maybe Pan Gibson in hand? But for what? Maybe to defend Denjiro. They restand another two. Okay, for Yamato. Now they want to clear. Okay, that's tough now. Are they afraid that we can finish the game, maybe? But they didn't really use a lot of toolcase here. Anyway, we must keep the board. So, yeah. If there is some... Um, Pan Gibson trigger, we lose. 
Okay, we have Otama and Blamenko. It means... It means that we could clear one of them. But it's not enough. So we must go for a game here. Mm, what's the best way here? We lose to Pan Gibson, that's for sure. So what we can do? We have five, six, seven, eight on left. We put three to have everyone on seven. Five on left. We put two on Zoro to make him nine. Two on Marco to make him ten. And then we win, maybe. Okay, so. Seven K lead reduce. They take. No. Two into nine K. One, two, three, four, five into ten K. That's the only option here. Nine K. They take. And ten K. If they guard here, then probably GG. And we win. Okay, so it was a good example, even though leader might be not uh, the strongest one. That uh, I still respect Odin as, the, as a leader, don't get me wrong. It's really strong and with the good meta call can top the regionals and so on. But there is always one turn in game where you have... Um, Winning window. If you attack during this turn, then you are winning. The problem is to recognize this uh, winning window. So, regardless, we win. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Take it easy.